Well, it's party time. Party well, well, well. time. I, w- I was distracted by reading some well, of the well, comments well. that just came up, and I'm like, well, well, well. What what accent is that? I don't know. Well, Hi, well, friends. Well. Catherine and Erica here. <laughs> uh, we're having a party in the office today. It's not a party, though. It's a, a par- party. It's a party. We just dropped a few new products in the shop for celebrating birthdays. So balloons and birthday stacks that you can make presents and yes. cakes out of. We're going to create with those today. If you are joining us live, say hey in the chat. We love chatting with you guys. Yes. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Yes. We don't need an excuse to party around here. Yeah. But all of that said, we have a soft spot. For birthday cards, and you always need supplies for mm-hmm. birthday cards, and this little bundle of goodness Should is, we look at it? Yes. Should, where should we start with? The paper? Oh, yes. Because this color combo... Oh, Had me at yes. hello. Ready? Yes. Let's check it out. So this is the Partay Time pattern paper. Orange twist, this fun little burst paper. This gorgeous plaid... These fun balloons, Samba with Be Mine. That is a poppin' color it's combo so right there. And this is my favorite sheet. <laughs> Do you know what I said that is in my in my mind? Hmm. It's all the tangled up string from your balloons. And that is why, <laughs> where's the card? Did Hannah give me my cards back yet? Because that's the card I made. Oh! With the t- Do you oh, want me to go get it? Hannah, where are my cards? Yeah, go get it. Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Then we have this uh, sprinkle sheet. It's on pixie dust. And the little scallop, white scallops on Oh Boy. We have a sheet with cute, funky, modern little candles, birthday candles, and a serenade stripe. So... This is Parte Time. It's Samba Orange Twist, Oh Boy, Serenade, Pixie Dust, Be Mine, and Midnight. And for the candles, you're going to want to pop in Glitz or Tiara or maybe Tiki Torch for those uh, flames. Okay. This, I was making a reel yesterday. It's so cute. And I had already done one. These are going to be up on Instagram soon. Uh, I've done one with the balloons, and so my next card that I was creating, I was supposed to be using the birthday stacks, and I started planning the Schaefer card, and instead of putting the birthday stacks on, when I was getting almost done, I was like, this needs to be balloons, not birthday stacks, because I used this piece in the background, which, like Erica said, is like all of the (laughs) strings from the balloons, and then I only added two strings to the balloons. All the rest are tangled up behind. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I, we just love the little abstract pattern. It's so cute. So this uh, little reel will be going up on Instagram very soon. But let's take a look at the rest of the products in this bundle. Yes. Where did I put them? Okay. So balloons, bouquet. You stamp balloons, the second layer of balloons, and the happy birthday. And they create this. And it's really easy to ink up, which we did use this yesterday, and you can see um, with different colors. But at minimum, you've got two stamps there that you could ink up two colors and overlap. So we'll stamp that today so I can show it to you and you can see it real life in action. The dies, of course. And there's some confetti in here. Yeah. So we added some extra star confetti in there. And just run it through once and it pops out five stars for you. And then we have the birthday stacks. So stamp these solid. You can do all one color. You can do two in one color, two in another. If you use your minis, it's really easy to ink up one little stack at a time. Super easy to do. And then these patterns to stamp on top or in between. You can even make the stack longer. Uh, We were talking yesterday on the Facebook Live about all the ways you can use this stamp set. You can make cakes, presents. You can just use it as a striped background. Uh, Candles. These can be candles. Then for the birthday stacks here, this is the candle there. These lines are for the present. So if you make it a present, do one this way and one that way, and then a bow. And then all these little accoutrements, and then this great, fabulous HB2U. So here it is in action. 
And the Dottie, this Dottie one was also like a little candle idea. Oh, I haven't even used that one. Yeah, I love that one. With the sparkle, <clears throat> the little sparkle thing. <laughs> yes. The, that goes You guys over know the those flame. sparkle candles where you blow them out and then they come back? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hold on. I need to stamp the sparkle on the this. Mm -hmm. I need to do that. I haven't done that yet. Okay. How about this color combo? Hit that thumbs up button if you're digging this color combo <laughs> as much as we are. Do you see me talking to the people even though they can't see me? Uh, yeah, you're giving them a thumbs up over there. <laughs> okay, let's look at a few more cards before we jump into some stamping. Oh, so pretty. I know. Love, love, love. Look at all these fantastic ideas. So Laura Evangeline was here at the beginning. She guested with us this month. I don't know if she's still here. We've got some cards by her and Let's by see. Arsenia Wolf, who also guested with us um, for this little mini bundle love. I love how Arsenia die cut and put those little flower pieces on there on that cake. That yeah, is so cute. It is cute. This is shown using it as a present. Just your, yeah, the, the general idea there. That's perfection. Look at all that detail. Oh, really? So gorgeous. I love how Laura added a bunch of splatter and embossed. Look at that bling. These cards, this stamp set <coughs> does want bling. You yeah, know what I'm does. saying? <laughs> that one is like the sparklers that you were talking yeah. about. That's so cute. Yeah. It's very Yeah. Jazzy. So what do you guys think? Since we are celebrating birthdays, it is Sam Nation's half birthday. Happy half birthday. And so we have a special in the shop that is exclusive for Stamp Nation members. So members, if you haven't checked it out yet, head to shop.catherinepooler.com and hover over that shop menu. And then when you are logged into the shop, the shop knows that you're a Stamp Nation member and it's magic that yeah. way. And then you'll see the secret sauce sale page. Select items at 50% off to go with these goodies. So there's some stamps and yes. dies and patterned paper yeah. in there at half off. You guys have two weeks to shop that exclusive sale. If you're not a Stamp Nation member yet in the shop, you'll see um, about and subscription. So hover over those and check out Stamp Nation. They get to order our large collections early. They get behind the scenes sneak peeks with us. We do live streams and classes with them. Mm -hmm. And they get occasional special discounts. Yeah, so. we just had our quarter two class, and we've been talking about our quarter three plan yes. for our class. So we're very excited about that. So it's a great time to join. Go ahead and sign up for a Push quarter. You can take yep. advantage of this sale. You can take advantage of early ordering for our June release, um, July and oh. August. And uh, also get in on the next class that we have. Lots of fun stuff coming up. These are some of the paper packs that they can get at 50% off. Oh. And some stencils. Did you just oh. hear my... Oh, I love I love pet preppy prints. I'm just going to put that in my pocket since Diane thinks I do that anyways. <laughs> so many things. Uh-oh, Diane can't buy that one because I'm putting it in my pocket. <laughs> so that's just a few of the items that are on our birthday set. Yeah, they were sets that and supplies and things that we thought were either party related or we thought were a party. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like that paper's a party. Okay, so when you are inking up the balloons, yes, they are going to overlap. So you want to pick colors that when mixed together are gonna to create a third color and not brown. So you wanna stay away from colors that are across the color wheel, because if you do Purple and yellow, it's going to make brown. Blue and orange is going to make brown. So go analogous colors. Do ones that are either the same color or next to each other on the color wheel. And that's where that primary color trick mm -hmm. comes in. So you can go from red to blue and use any of these. Blue to yellow and use these. Yellow to red and use these. And, and you'll then you'll have success. Mm -hmm. But don't go red to green. Yellow green, that would be no yuck. <laughs> I mean, so, you can see. do it. You can you, do it. Maybe you, you, you want some brown balloons. I don't know. You will get a let's really see. kind of funky green brown color going on. Let's do <laughs> serenade on oh. 
Oh, Debbie says, can't wait to add your party fans behind those balloons. <gasps> Ooh, what a Love good idea. That idea. What's the third quarter plan? We'll be sharing that soon, Diane. You know we keep you informed. I feel like that kind of matches my shirt. Oh. Kind of. I'm somewhere between serenade and drive-in. Yeah. Oh, that's a thing. Hmm. Let's do some serenade, some be mine. <laughs> <laughs> any oh, other um, great ideas that you guys have already gotten just by looking at this yesterday you let us know in the chat what you want to make I forgot to show you these can we have a holla off of Tel Aviv I think this is my honestly favorite sequin mix ever it is flipping gorgeous sorry I had to say it Faux cuss word. Said a bad word. I said a faux cuss word. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about it. Sorry about it. So I offensive. just got very excited. Yeah. <laughs> this. Oh wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, that. <laughs> Those can go do. on your card. That'll do. What do you guys think? Tel Aviv. Yes. Why? Why we name it Tel Aviv? Well, I Tel love Aviv. your little stories, Erica. Tel Aviv is a party city. So <laughs> Tel knows? Aviv is the cultural hub of Israel, and it is a place where a lot of young people live. There's a lot of clubs there, a lot of dancing, really? a lot of house music, a lot of nightlife. <laughs> I love it. So, um, yeah. My sister used to really like going there on the weekends when she lived in Israel. <laughs> there was always something going on, and you'd meet strangers who wanted to hang out. So... Sounds great to me. It's a party city, baby. Maybe I need to go there. There are, there are a lot of gorgeous places in, in Israel to visit. But that one's the cultural hub. My favorite is to do one of the balloon stamps first, then do the words, and then line your other balloon stamps up over it. Oh, that's super smart. And it helps you figure out where those balloons need to go. Yeah. Nice. Make sure they make sure they get on there right. You probably could do balloon, balloon, and then words, but I think it's a little bit safer to do balloon, words, balloon. Balloon, words, balloon. And I also love that the first one you did is spaced out in such a way that you were easily able to ink that up in two different colors, so you got three colors on your um, mm -hmm. balloon bouquet. And I'm, I'm doing a weird dance over here, so. I think I need a little re-inking on my pixie dust pad. It's a little light, but um, we got it. We got it. Okay. Look, 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 look. It'll dry yes, out. Yes, so fun. Okay, then we have little strings. We have little squigglies and doodads. I think I need to refresh. This is weird. Oh, I want to do some. Look, this is cute. This little star. What if I did some stars around the happy birthday balloons? Oh, someone's dog is barking. <laughs> did you guys hear that dog? <laughs> oh, cute. Okay, there we go. I get surprised every time. You guys, if you are joining in and you think oh. one of your crafty friends doesn't know we're live and they're going to want to see this, please share this video. And again, thank you for your thumbs up. Your thumbs is ups is. <laughs> Normally, I don't really care for a thumbs up, but on YouTube, I do. Erica, you are so silly. I'm a weirdo. Erica thinks a thumbs, a thumbs up is um, flippant, not rude. <laughs> it's not. It's it's agreeing. It's good. It's like yes. Or it's like <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh. So here's a thumbs up. <laughs> Someone did you wrong with a thumbs up. Twice. I know. Please, please do not continue texting me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a few long balloon strings. <laughs> so cute. Isn't this adorable, you guys? So cute. Uh, the, they're so loving fun. it. Yeah, me too. Nobody's telling me the card that they're going to make. I'm, my feelings are hurt. I feel like when you start watching these things come together, you, my brain just starts getting ideas. Sometimes I get really excited mm -hmm. and want to immediately create something, and generally that's not plausible. So, <clears throat> so I'm in that boat with you because you don't have this yet. So, <laughs> Now I have some of our little sentiment strips on hand. 
Yay me. What are these called? <laughs> yes, a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> um, what is what called? These, is it sentiment banners or um, something? Those are from, no, that's shaped differently, so that's uh Which one is it? Ooh, Who golly. Knows? Mm. Who knows? And many more. I don't know which set that is, I'm sorry. And you plonked them all in the same little folder so they don't have names anymore on them. If anybody knows, help a sister out. Yep. It's not sentiment banner dies because those aren't shaped like that. And I don't think those what? are the notes of love dies too. I don't know. The serenade stripey business. I'm going to uh, cut it at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. You guys, this paper oh. takes your card and ups yes. the party game. Levels like, it up like 300 knots. Yes. So quickly. I love it. Freedom Deep said they have ideas running through their yes. noggins. Yes. Uh, Joanne says I have a lot of birthdays every month, so this yeah. is going to come in handy. I just want to say, too, we're not, um, we're using blue and bouquet right now, but when we look at birthday stacks in a minute, with your color combo, you can totally do masculine cards, kid cards. Yes. A more sophisticated card for someone maybe who's a little more mature, who doesn't. Something more playful. Oh, There's a lot me. of room for um, switching up how you stamp it to make the vibe suit the recipient. Says me. Stacy thinks it is notes of love. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Kim says she loves the sentiment dies she got in the last die sale. And Allie can't wait to get the birthday stacks stamp set so she can make. Allie, I can't wait to see what you're going to make, sis. And many more. <laughs> Back to my Tel Aviv disco dancing over here. <laughs> because we need to bulch, 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 add smooth <laughs> sequence. Guys, I know. Smooth moves. I've got lots of them. <laughs> Those weren't it. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang tight. They'll, they're coming. The smooth moves are coming. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a couple sequins. So adorable. Uh, you can never have too many birthday stamps. I can't send the same Agreed. card year after year to the same person. Exactly. Totally. Exactly. My favorite is when someone says to me, oh, I love that birthday card you sent to me. It was so cute. And I'm like, <laughs> what it look like? Because <laughs> you don't know. No. no. I said that to my mom once and I think she got a little offended. I was like, <laughs> I make so many birthday cards. I don't know which one I sent to you. Yes, Sarah, this um, this little bundle does have a mod feel, and we also yes. really love that. That was the vibe we were going for. I also just, it just hit me. Birthday stacks I could use for Christmas. <gasps> you sure can. I could make a Christmas present and just change the colors, add a different sentiment from a holiday set, and boom, shaka laka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that about the mod vibe because that is absolutely what we were going for. Yes. Thanks for picking up what we were putting down. So fun. Adorable. That was a really fun card to you make and it came together that out. real quick. I do Thanks. feel like, too, when using that birthday bouquet because it really does make a statement on your card. It's like a sentiment statement. Um, you really can whip out a card really quickly. You could do stacks of them and have them on hand. And then... When you just forgot to make the card, which we all do, you have some that you can grab to send along. And this happy birthday will work on his own, too. So, totally. Look at the mess I've made <clears throat> with my stamp set. Oh, Debbie said she'd like balloons that say thank you. Oh! Debbie, that's a cute idea. Oh, maybe we should do an add-on with different words that go into the balloons. Kim wants to make a stack in patriotic colors <clears throat> for the 4th of July. Why not? It can be a 4th of July case. Let's make a birthday stack. Okay. You guys want a present or a cake? Which one? Or Wait. do you want me to do something else? Way in the chat you, hole. Um, I kind of wanted to just make it a border. Like a border. Should we just do a border? I want to do a border. I want you to do a border. I want you to do a border. Okay. Let's do 
do a border. Let's do it. And you can do a wacky border or you can do a really even patterned border where you just use one of the accent stamps with the stack stamp. I mean, there's what was your oyster. The world. I love what the world is my oyster. That is my favorite hit, saying hit. right now. I say it all the time. Oh. <laughs> so just to remind everyone, we're dropping this mini bundle in, but we will have a full release for June. So Stamp Nation members, that birthday sale is running from now through the 21st, so you can shop today, and then you can also go back and check what's on sale that you missed when you're shopping the regular collection later in the month. All right, check out these minis. They're the perfect size for these stripes. <laughs> you need to buzz off, Mama. <laughs> Okay, Did everybody hear what she said to we me. We got present, <laughs> take, and border. So really, like you know, Erica, you've been such a rule follower lately. Lately, oh, well, God. it's been in high gear lately. Oh golly, high gear rule follower. Yeah, I, I messed that up. So you were right to get angry with me about not cleaning my stamps. So now I need to start over. I'm like, uh oh, what's happening? But I, I wiped it off on my chamois, but I guess I just didn't clean it well enough. So if you're wondering, most of the time I just use plain water on my stamps. Once in a while, if I have a stain, I might add a little bit of Nuvo cleaner or Ultra Clean to get a little more of that staining or residue off. It may not come completely off, but that is okay. It doesn't affect how your stamp works. And then, I like to just spritz it with water again because I don't want to contaminate my ink pad with cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, all right. I like to wash it off too because it has a weird kind of like a little bit of an oily residue. Yeah, it's and it, it is some sort of chemical because it's cleaning yeah. that off. So you, you don't want, want the cleaner on, on your, your ink pad. pad. It'll mess up your stuff. I mean, pad. that you're using the cleaner to get your ink off and then you're going to get it on your ink pad that doesn't make any sense oh fun uh freedom deep said you could stripe this like do the stripes and then tear it and it'll look like washi tape strips oh fun cute that's a great idea you guys have the best ideas okay starting over <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna um tell you to follow any more rules it is funny because I I'm a rule follower in some ways, and then in other ways, I'm like such a rebel. <laughs> and I can't keep up. I can't tell when you're going to follow the rules and when you're going to say to heck with it. There I go with another faux cussing word. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think heck's okay. Heck is okay? I think. I <laughs> you guys, if Catherine's being rude, let us know. Whoops. Oh. And we'll make her sit in the naughty corner. <laughs> you also could use a little masking if you mm. don't have minis. Yes. And really, really easy just with a scrap piece of paper could mask that off. You don't have to do anything fancy yes. um, to ink those stripes up because they're spaced out so nicely. Yep, just use a little piece of scratch paper or happy doodle memo tape to cover up the pieces you don't want inked. Ink what you do want inked. Remove that paper and carry on. Look at those stripes. They're so pretty. So pretty. This color combo is yeah. Nice. It's amazing. Inky dinky do. Hello, hello. If you're just joining in, we are playing with the Partey Time mini bundle that we dropped in the shop today. It's just a handful of products. I was going to tell you how many, but I, I can't think. One, two, three, four, five. Five little products. And they were created to mix and match and work together for birthday cards galore. I love it. Uh, do you want to, while I'm finishing these stripes up, do you want to show a couple birthday stack cards again? Just in case anybody missed them. Sure. And the stamp set. We'll just pop that in the frame here. So that's what the stamp set looks like. Okay. So here is a little cake card. 
so cute. This one's got a lot of paper and embellishment on it. This one's a gift, gift box. Here's a shaper. Somebody remind me later to re-ink my Samba. Look at those flames that she embossed on there. That is cute. That is so cute. Oh, I didn't do orange twist. Little simple Prezi. Oh, oh, there I am. Ta-da! Lots of ideas. I really like this a lot, Catherine. Oh, thanks. So cute. I like the little um, flags. Oh, thank you. I thank you. I appreciate it. And honestly, with the way that you use the accent stamps, you could make a bunch of cards and then them be completely different because you just switch up the, the way you layer it up or the colors that you use. And like this guy here, this little dotted guy and this little dot guy, they will go sort of in with the candles and just sort of like abstract candles or over top. You could add a little something, something. So many fun options. <laughs> Orange twist right in the middle of those purples. Love it. Yeah, so cool. Definitely, I, with this stamp set, like adding in the black geometric because it just really levels up that mod feel. <clears throat> you can stamp them on top of the colored stripes or just between stripes. Oh. Oh. Yes. <gasps> that fits perfectly. But think about where, oh yeah, there you go. I don't oh, think we did that on purpose. That's great. It is fantastic. <laughs> I am so excited We right just now. got excited over something oh, yeah. we didn't know was going to happen. Yeah. Now we need to find a little, ha oh, here's the happy birthday. Does that fit in there? Might be a little too, t well, you could. I'll stamp it somewhere else, I think. But the HB2U. Oh, yeah. I guess this is kind of because it's laid out a little. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Also, the there the three stack die works perfectly oh, yeah. with the HB2U. Where are they? Okay. So you've got you've got a four stamp layer, but we've given you a four stamp die and a three stamp die. So you can cut it out at three high or four high. And this also fits around the HB2U. So you've got lots of versatility with these. You could make a cake and a present and just pile it on <laughs> if you wanted. Uh, sprinkles? Did you get the little sprinkly one? No. I haven't done the sprinkles. And then my favorite thing is then adding in these black flowers. Black I think flowers. that is just up leveling this to the nth degree. Oh, so awesome. Yes, I love it. So fun. kind of want this like in a circle die. Uh-huh. Or you could emboss it and then that color will pop up. Let's do, yeah. I think I like the circles because I feel like it's that mod flare. Uh-huh. I think it just adds Debbie's geometric. asking if she stamps the solid stripe and then moves it, can she stamp in between with solid stripes? Yes. You can do that. Good question. <laughs> All right. HB to you. you. <laughs> Is anybody's birthday this week? Or how about happy birthday month? to what you. What June babies do we happy have in the house? Birthday. Well, Stevie Wonder for you. I'm ready to cut that. All right. Second Let's look. cut it. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I'm, it's going to work. I'm nerviosa. Oh, got the table jiggling here. Ta-da! Cute. I'm loving that. So, these aren't double duty dot dies. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? I always call them that. Double, aren't they double Double duty? dot, maybe they're double dot. Dies. I think they're double duty dies. Double, mm -hmm. double duty circle dies. Double duty circle dies? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it went through 3,000 different names before we decided on one. Double duty dot dies. <laughs> <clears throat> Diane said both of her parents have June birthdays. Flora's uh, two of her daughters have June birthdays. Allie's birthday was last week. Yes, happy birthday, Allison. We sent you a card, Allison. Did she get it yet? Did you get it yet? <laughs> um, Joanne's best friend's birthday is this month. Ser Seriously. That is so cute. There's one more thing I need. Where are okay. the sequence? I need, well, two more things. Okay. Okay, we need, I need a little scratch piece of paper. I'm keeping you in suspense. I know. We're gonna stamp a little black flower because I love the black flower on this colorful geometric background. And then we'll just die cut it. We're gonna pop it on there, gonna add some sequins and bada boom. Super cute card. Oh, you're popping up a flower? Oh, yeah. I was distracted. It's okay. 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 Uh, so let me tell you the sequence. Where'd they go? Oh, I always lose the sequins on my desk. Here they are. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your little flur. So, so cute. So sweet. Oh, creative Cindy said, I've seen so many uh, YouTubers using your inks lately. Oh, I love it. That makes us super happy. When you see, go in and tell them that you love our inks too, Cindy. Because <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming, Cindy. <laughs> I see a lot of card fronts, but are there stains for the inside of cards that could really use them? So, Tammy, we have a line, uh, a couple of stamp sets, I should say, um, called Inside Out something or other. So if you go into the shop and you search Inside Out, you will find a couple of stamp sets with longer sentiments that were designed to go inside the card. And there are sentiments as well that will work with those that you can use on the outside too. Some of our folks use them in both places, which is why we call them Inside Out, because you can use them either place inside and out yeah <laughs> so yeah and a lot of times I'll take part of the you know whatever whatever else is in the set and just stamp another one on the inside so let's do that so let's do time to party and then how about doing the opposite here so I did the flower in black on the front let's do it in color on the inside And then the front coordinates with the outside, or the inside coordinates with the outside. How about that? Cute. Cute. Love it. Lo ah. That card makes my heart happy. <clears throat> These cards all make my heart happy. They're so cute. So, oh yeah. So let's look at this real quick before we go. Um, color combo. So I have one more. Okay. So this is color combo from the paper, mm -hmm. and these are me going rogue color combos. Uh -huh. Here's another one. This is from the paper. And I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Okay. So from the paper, going rogue. So just like Erica was saying before, depending on your color combo, it can be for, 
you know, a male or a female or, um, you know, different ages, you may kind of tweak the feel of the card depending on age or anything. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, I love this is kind of like uh, monochromatic. I mean, mm-hmm. well, it's analogous. Oh, I didn't know we came back up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. So totally as well. Use your spot colors. If you want to give it kind of like a, a more like hipster twist or boho twist to it, will totally. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So go spa. Yeah. Add lemongrass and you're good to go. Yes. <laughs> lemongrass is fantastic. With it sea glass in there. Ooh. Apricot. We might have oh, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Sometime. A boho birthday stag. Yeah. Right? Why not? Yes. Okay. Are we... Oh, I'm not here on Friday. Are you born here on Friday? You're not here Thursday and Friday, right? Right. You're not here Thursday, Friday. Right. I'm not here Monday, Tuesday. <gasps> I'm not here You're Monday. You're not here Monday either. Because we have a little a girls' graduation party. party. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So exciting. <gasps> you guys, this weekend we have the last dance recital. She started when she was three years old. Yep. She is the lead in the Sleeping Beauty uh, performance on Saturday night. I'm going to be crying buckets. Oh, I'll bring tissues for you. We were talking about the crying and so I, I, everybody handles it different, right? And sometimes I see like moms say they, they don't cry in front of their kids because they don't want them to feel bad or upset or whatever. And, um, during rehearsal the other night, I videoed all of her little performances because she does, has a couple solos and then she does the, she does a paw or three paws with, um, Marcelo from the Carolina Ballet. A pas de deux is when the girl and the boy dancer dance together. And you know, um, in the music box, when the um, ballerina has her hand like this and her leg up behind her and he turns her around, she does that. And it's amazing. And I look at her and I'm like, that's my baby girl. But anyway, I didn't cry during rehearsal. And she said, that's actually a little bit offensive. And I was like, oh my gosh. She goes, wasn't I good enough for you? I mean, she was teasing. She was laughing, but I was like, Oh, don't That's you worry. Because then I showed Debbie a little bit of it, and I started to cry. And she just thinks I'm so weird. So on Saturday night during the performance, she'll, she'll be, be crying. crying like buckets through the whole show. I'm sure. You cry when other dancers are yes, dancing I because do. you've watched them. Sorry, I just kept watching like, for they were so tiny. long, and you know all these girls, and you've watched mm-hmm. them grow up. So it is. It's just a whole thing. And I just they're dedicated. I mean, these girls go to school and they go to dance, and they they. Don't do a whole lot else because they are at the dance studio for two, three, four, five hours every single day. And just the dedication. Yeah, I was going to say the commitment is off the chain. And just seeing these (laughs) sweet girls and then like they do this grown up ballerina stuff. It's just outstanding. Incredible. She's a beautiful It's been, um, I feel blessed that I have been able to be uh, watching this through these girls. Well, now she's going to go from that to... The Tel Aviv dancing at NC State. I know. So I've been telling a couple people recently about she's going to be on the, she um, made the NC State dance team. And I think some people don't know what that is. So on the football field, you see the cheerleaders Mm -hmm. and then they have the dance team. They have pom-poms too, but they'll do more like hip hoppy dance and um, they dance dance with the band. Yeah. So yeah. So we'll be doing that in football. It'll be fun. But they're still ampers. They're like out there getting the crowd going. Yeah. Love it. And speaking of that, our Baking Spirits Bright Retreat, we have announced all of the details. In case you missed it, we are having a fantastic event in September. Everyone who registers and signs up and, you know, pays our registration fee, of course, it it includes eight virtual holiday paper crafting sessions, early access to a brand new ink color, exclusive Catherine Puller Designs product, and a project guide download. These are our teachers. They are amazing. It's going to be fantastic. We will put the link to sign up for the waitlist page in the co- in the um, description below. But as I say, we were um, setting the time for the classes because we have a little hiccup with the class times. Friday night is going to be like 3 to 5, I three think. 3 to 5. 3 to 5. And then Saturday, guys. It is the first home football game, and it's Notre Dame, which is a huge game between Notre Dame and State. So um, the class session is going to be 10 to 12, Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to leave my mess, 
Actually, it won't be a mess because I'm. Just, we're just conducting classes. That yeah, day. you're not. You're making on Friday, yeah. so yeah. And then I'm going to scurry over to the football field, which is just down the street. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was laughing about that. I so didn't know it was we'll the say, first home game. Go Wolfpack before we leave. Yes. <laughs> So all of that is coming up this summer. We're so excited about it. If you haven't heard about it yet, we'll put the link below so you can learn more and put your name on the wait list. We'll be releasing more details soon. Yes, and you want to make sure to get your name on the wait list so you don't miss when the tickets for the class go on sale. Yes. So we will see you guys next Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. We'll have some reels and stuff over on Instagram, but the Facebook and YouTube, I don't think we're going to, because you'll be out and then I'll be out. And That's true. Yeah. We so will see you soon. We'll see you on Wednesday we'll next week. Yeah. Yes. While we're gone. And let's see. We'll put this up. Subscribe, like, and share. And you'll make us happy. <laughs> We will see you guys soon. Oh, and just one quick thing. Cost will be announced in a few weeks. And then, um, Aunt Crazy, you're cracking me up. If you change the weekend, that would work for me. So you've, you're already busy. But the replays <laughs> will be available. So yes. you will be able to, you'll get the, the, the box full of exclusive goodies and all of the classes on.